Hello Scorpio, we're getting ready to do your love reading for this week. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Scorpio. We're going to get three overall energy cards for the reading today to see what information we can get you about your love life. Smoke and mirrors, okay, something isn't as it seems. Smoke and mirrors is usually somebody blowing the smoke. You can't really see what's happening in a love relationship. Shining through, that's a lovely way to follow up on smoke and mirrors, shining through. Okay, so it's only a matter of a bit of a waiting game. All right, let's see what we have for you. We have roots of abundance, okay. So something that you don't see coming is taking hold for you at this time, Scorpio. I like it, all right. So we're gonna do three shuffles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three shuffle strips for Scorpio. One more shuffle for Scorpio, please. Okay, let's see, we're gonna cut the deck. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is, ooh, the High Priestess. That is Cancerian energy. Nice. Okay. That looks lovely. Okay. So let's see. In the recent past, the mutual energy between you and your person of interest is building something. Nice. Seven of Coins, Taurus energy. Seven of Cups, currently, you're both keeping your options open. You don't know what choices you will make. Pisces energy. How your person views a relationship. Five of Swords, thorny, prickly, like prickly heat. They're not happy about something that was said or done. Five of Swords is Aquarius energy. How they view you as somebody who is juggling more than one love. They see you as someone who may have two jobs, but unlikely with these other cards. All right, that's Capricorn energy. How they feel in their heart space. They feel hung out to dry, left alone. Virgo energy is the honest search for answers. So your person really does want to make this work. But they have their back turned to you. How they view the situation unfolding. An offer, a solid offer must be made is what they see as being a requirement to making the relationship move forward. What is the mutual energy hidden between the two of you? Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. There's a white dove here, but it does show that both of you seem to be all up in your head, losing sleep, having remorse and regret. What does spirit recommend? Two of Wands, make a choice. You're at a crossroads. You have to commit to either be with each other or leave each other is what's recommended. The outcome at this time, the Emperor card, Aries energy. Scorpio, you and your beloved person are seem to be playing a game of chess because we have the big chess piece here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and clarify. But it does look like there's something very uncomfortable about the relationship. It started out with investment, then somebody seems to have bugged out on the investment. Your person is not happy about it. It does think, it appears that they think definitely that you're the one who's who's the one who's non-committal. Okay, to clarify the Seven of Coins, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius Energy, very detached and strategic. The Fool card is a new beginning, and the Empress card is here. So now we have the Empress and the Emperor bookending the relationship, and there's a lot of strategy that's going on here. Because when we get the Emperor card, we have the big chess piece, and that's strategy. And when we get the King of Swords energy, we get very aloof strategy about how this relationship is going to go, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. But it, what we're seeing here is that you both want the same thing in stable, beautiful energy with a long-term relationship. So you're both throwing caution to the winds, but you're both staying very strategic. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the two of you? Nine of Cups, so there may be a lot of drinking, a lot of partying, 
There could have been some texting that you saw on your person's phone or they saw on your phone while you were out having fun. Somebody may have asked for a phone number. So there's a little bit of discomfort here, or actually quite a lot of it on the part of your partner. The world card. So now we've had, okay. So the world card is all about making a decision and moving forward, whether that's just a decision to stay together or not. The world card is also a card of great success. So when we close out a world's energy cycle, it's usually one that's been very successful. Your person has fire in their belly for the relationship. It does look like you've had an argument and your person feels very defensive. They feel as though somehow things turned against them. The magician card, they are definitely trying to attract you. Scorpio, the magician energy is trying to manifest the relationship they want with you. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. The devil card though. The devil card says that your person really feels as though um, there's an unhealthy dynamic in the relationship. And even if, it, and if it's not unhealthy, one that they find really maddening. The devil card oftentimes means that a person thinks that another is very controlling. And that is also true of the emperor card. Like, it's my way or the highway. So your person feels that way about you, Scorpio, that, that you're very, I don't want to throw shade because it doesn't mean it's true just because it's what they think, but it is a problem for the two of you. The two of coins says that you're, you're, pretty calm, cool, and collected overall. It shows that you're juggling two different people. Yep, the King of Pentacles. So you're not really dating exclusively, which is also what the Seven of Cups under those cards means. What is your person searching? Why are they searching for answers? Juggling too, wondering what the heck you're doing. Wondering why you're being aloof and cold. Wondering if they should be juggling too. Emperor energy. Oh, you are playing with a master chess player. Scorpio, Scorpio. I don't think that you really see this going on beneath the scene, behind the scenes. Why did your person see the Ace of Coins? The King of Wands, the King of Cups. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Your person, whoever the Scorpio is, has a lot of suitors and a lot of people who want your attention, Scorpio. So that is a lot. We have all the kings and the emperor on the deck. So what we're seeing here is your person feels as though, especially if you're the feminine, it doesn't matter though, but your person, your person really thinks that you have lots and lots of suitors and that you're not gonna settle down and you're just gonna wait for the best offer. And the Two of Wands is suggesting you do just that. The Nine of Swords says you're both very worried and up in your head about the future. What does it bring? Both of you want to speak your truth. What is the truth here that Scorpio wants to speak to their person and vice versa with their person to them? What is the energy here? Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction. All right, it's time to admit that you care about each other. The Six of Cups is a soulmate card. It says that you have really strong, tender feelings about each other, that you're happier when you're with each other than without each other. But both of you are being very stubborn and very strategic, like you're in a very big master chess game. Why does Spirit recommend that you make a choice and go one way or the other in this relationship? Why is Spirit recommending that? Why is Spirit recommending that you're at a crossroads and that you choose one? Seven of coins, so that you can build. So Spirit really feels as though you should continue building. Yeah, the Two of Cups, but you have to make a choice. So Spirit is actually telling Anyone here in this reading who is juggling more than one person needs to absolutely stop it. Why is the emperor here as your outcome? That's a very successful outcome. Seven of Swords running away from the problems, not being honest. 
The two of you are doing that to one another. The temperance card, you'll work it out, okay. So it does show that the two of you are being very secretive. The sun card, the temperance card, we have Leo energy, Sag energy. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. It looks as though you come out of this period of time, really reuniting in the relationship and enjoying each other. I don't see the two of you at this point where you really want to make a commitment, but you will hang out. Look at that, the Ace of Cups, new love. New love is coming into this relationship and it's going to push a lot of the uncertainty out. All right, Scorpio, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment if you like the video. Thumbs up and a subscribe would be so wonderful. Thank you.